You want to massively boost your Facebook ad performance? Then stick around as I show you my best Facebook ad strategy that I use to crush sales. And the best part of this Facebook ad strategy is that nothing close to difficult or anything technical, they are guaranteed to work all the time. You ready for this? Then let's get started. So, do Facebook ads really work? Well, what do you think? Yes, I really think it works. If not, people will not keep spending millions to run Facebook ads all the time. But having said that, you also need to understand that when it comes to running Facebook ads, you are also dealing with the competition from other advertisers in your market. And competition really is not something you should run away from. Competition in a niche is always a proof that there are money to be made. If not, nobody will be there. Now, I want to show you two ageless Facebook ad strategy that has always worked and will continue to work even years from now. And these two Facebook ad tips that I will show you will help you get massive Facebook results in any niche that your business fall into. But before we start, you already know what I want to ask for. A like for this video and maybe you are here for the first time and we love to see more marketing or make money videos like this then why not hit the subscribe button right now so if you've done that and you want to see these two ageless Facebook hard tips that works like magic then let's get over to it I want to assume that you already have your Facebook business account set up correctly just in case you've not then I highly recommend that you see the video where I intentionally used a brand new Facebook account to demonstrate how to set up your business account correctly. Very important. I will also leave the link to that video in the description. Get your hard targeting right. So now, your hard account is working and you have already decided on the type of hard that you want to run. The first thing that can kill your hard performance is to get your Facebook ad targeting wrong. One question you always want to answer as clear as crystal is this. Who is this hard designed for? The clearer you are about this very important question, the better your hard will perform. To make this easier for you to understand, let's use a case study to drive this home. So, let's say I am a cake baker and I want to use Facebook ad to expand my catering business. So, I decided to run a Facebook ad, but right now I need to answer all the important questions who exactly do I want to see this ad? The ability to answer this question clearly tells me two things. Number one, if I know who will see this ad, then I can know the type of message to use on my ad creative that these particular people will most easily relate to it. That makes sense, right? Number two, I can know exactly how to manipulate my detailed targeting option, which Facebook has generously given to me to explore. So, in this situation, let's say I come up with an answer, I want only people who will be celebrating their birthday, say, this month. What month now? I'm recording this video in June, so yours could be January, it could be October, whatever. But you get the point. So now that I clearly know that all I want to achieve with this Facebook ad is to bake cake for June celebrant, wow, my problem is over. So I will just come to my detailed targeting option here, at the ad set level and look for people who are celebrating birthday in the month of June. Isn't that fantastic and straightforward? So that is my home. What is yours? So now that I know who my ad will be targeting, I can proceed to the second tip, which has everything to do with my ad creative. So let's quickly go to our ad level. Now, there is this error that 99.9% .9 of advertisers make. So hear this, the primary goal of an ad is not to get sales, but to get clicks. Think about that for a second. So what do I mean by this? Instead of trying to throw buy, buy in front of people who are seeing your ad maybe for the first time, why not instead create an ad that wants to give and give? Everybody loves free things. And if you meet a complete stranger and the first message you're sending is, hey, come and buy, it's more like as a guy, you meet a beautiful lady, maybe at the bar at the very first time, and straight away you're saying, hey, come and marry me. 
Don't let me imagine the kind of response you will get. But offering her a free drink will rather be a perfect way to begin. So for my own ad here, instead of telling my June celebrant, hey, buy my birthday cake, I would rather switch on my creativity cap and I could instead give them a free gift. Maybe something like, hey, here are four ways to light up your next birthday. Click this link to get my four secret birthday tips or something like that. So this is what I mean by creating a hard that elicit click and not to sell. Now, this celebrant come into my funnel wanting the magic birthday tips to light up their next birthday, obviously. And let's say I got their WhatsApp contact, for example, send them the five tips or the four tips, great tips, by the way. And then now that we have the relationship going on, I can begin to remarket them by offering to get them a birthday cake to make their dream birthday. After all, what is a birthday without a cake? So, depending on how I wish to go about this, I can carve out my message here either as a test, as an image, or even a video ad. And trust me, even if this is your very first ad, applying this strategy correctly will already put you light years above your competitors who are trying to sell at the very first contact and probably didn't even get their hard targeting right. Trust me, most advertisers fall into this category and they keep committing this error and wondering why their ad is not performing well. So go try these two tips and if you can, share your results with me in another video that I will make as a follow-up to this particular one. That means you really have to subscribe to this channel just if you are here to do so. And if you've done that already, make sure you turn on the alert bell so you get to know when I release my next video. Of course, please don't leave without giving this video a like. Thank you and see you in the next one.